What's going on, fellow A Plusers? It's your boy Adam Perez. I'm back, baby, once again with a brand new review for you guys as we're going to get into the Marvels. That's right, the newest Marvel Studios MCU project that just went ahead and dropped. Uh, listen, maybe you were living under a rock. We did have ourselves a huge actor strike. Uh, promotions for this movie and marketing has been rather dull, unfortunately, because they have not been able to get their stars in front of the camera to promote this. So you may not have even known there was a sequel happening or even a sequel dropping to Captain Marvel but we do in fact have ourselves a brand new MCU film titled The Marvels the sequel to Captain Marvel that just went ahead and released today um, had the opportunity to check it out on an early screening on Thursday night uh, rather late night honestly it was like a 10 o'clock showing um, so I wind up getting home rather late didn't have time to sit down in front of the camera to review for you guys but I'm here now uh, and I want to go ahead and give you guys my non-spoiler thoughts on it as to whether or not you should see this movie this weekend and listen i certainly think that you should i think this is a movie that's certainly fun definitely a popcorn flick some great energy honestly some great laughs uh, i had a fun time with this movie to be perfectly honest with you so if i had to recommend it to you most definitely go ahead and take your friends and family out this weekend i do not think you guys will certainly be disappointed um this movie comes to us as we have ourselves a trio that are in fact the leads of this movie brie larson returning as carol danvers aka a Captain Marvel, a new uh, a newbie on the scene, if you will, in Aman Vellani, who plays Miss Marvel in here as well. If you have not been introduced to her yet, check out the Miss Marvel series over on Disney Plus. And we also have Tayana Paris that plays Monica Rambeau uh, in this film as well. She was most notably popped up in the WandaVision Disney Plus series. If you have not seen her in that as well, so maybe a little bit of homework for you to certainly do before you check this out. But I do think that this movie does a pretty good job of at least getting you semi caught up but definitely makes you actually want to go back and check out some of these Disney Plus series and kind of get an idea and get caught up on your own if you will but I, I think if anything that was probably I don't want to say that was probably one of my struggles um, but when you come into this film I do feel like there's a lot of homework that you probably should do to fully understand the gravity or at least the impact that these people have already had within the MCU um, so I do think that was a little bit of a detriment going into this movie and I don't necessarily I think they did as good as they could with this movie literally coming in at about an hour and 45 minutes so relatively short film but the pacing is great um, they get you right into the action some really great interactions between um, a lot of our characters in here um, so they definitely do not miss a beat whatsoever this definitely felt like a film that went by rather quickly um, and I personally wouldn't have minded an extra 15 or 20 minutes of this film um, uh, if anything I, I will say the cons just to get the cons out of the way um, aside from the idea of maybe having doing a better job of introducing us to some of these characters uh, I do think that um, I would have liked a little bit more density within the plot itself uh, the opportunity for these characters to really sit down with each other do some character exposition a little bit more uh, especially when you have some inner conflict between some of these characters while I appreciate the way that they are certainly handled in this movie I do think just to get a full emotional grasp on things um, some more exposition and a little bit more density within this movie probably could have gone a long way in pushing it a little bit more over the top. Um, again, I walked away having a really fun time with this movie. I will say the action is incredible in here, especially some of the choreography. Um, the chemistry between all three of these ladies is impeccable uh, honestly I mean going into the movie that was my selling point already is to see how all three of them are certainly going to work with each other on screen and I think they do so beautifully in here I think we got some great character growth uh, like Carol Danvers like I enjoyed this movie more than I did the first Captain Marvel movie um, and you get to see Brie Larson as Carol Danvers um, uh, you know expose herself more to people um get from under sort of the Kree soldier sort of personality that dullness about her lack of emotion um you get to see her growth in this movie for sure and she takes a little bit more of a personality on her side and i really appreciate not only her growth but seeing how she handles a lot of that personal conflict that when it comes to somebody like a monica rambeau to find somebody like carol feeling kind of awkward or out of place or not really sure how to navigate 
navigate the situation she's in. Uh, I thought that was pretty impressive uh, for Brie Larson to bring that out of somebody like Carol Danvers. So uh, I kind of appreciated to see um, her working alongside other people, which was very much a, a new take for somebody like Carol Danvers. Um, also, Amon Vellani continues to show why I think she's going to be a star, not just in the MCU, but in her future career. I think she certainly steals the show sort of as that wide-eyed fangirl that has superpowers and is getting the opportunity to finally sort of meet her hero. I think she um, plays it up beautifully in here um, and to some great laughs uh, in the movie theaters as well. So um, I, I was really impressed with how uh, these three ladies really worked alongside and if anything I do think it is sort of the carrying point for this movie. Definitely you know Nia DaCosta as far as the director I think she did a great job in here. She even wrote a little bit of the script as well and in some of her interviews she talked about this movie being kind of silly and wacky and fun and she's not lying in that regard. There are some there are some moments in this movie that worked for me that I don't necessarily know if will work for everybody in the sense you know they kind of teased in one of the trailers like a big dance montage and when you see how it plays into the movie I personally was a really big fan of it considering Marvel Studios really taking a big swing to have that level of fun in this movie. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool to kind of see our characters in a different spotlight and then doing certainly things different um, and so for me it really worked for me but I can understand if it didn't necessarily work for everybody in this movie I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of the villain itself um, but I thought the intentions of the villain um, how they connected the overall plot to uh, you know instances from the past um, Captain Marvel movie as well I thought that was pretty smart on them also um, but overall really enjoyable movie man I, you know I definitely am not gonna crap on it I think it's uh, pretty positive on Rotten Tomatoes so far right now even though I don't really care for critic scores if you will simply because I'm gonna judge the movie on my own which I always recommend you guys do too if it's a movie you want to see if you're interested in it go see it for yourself but if I have to recommend it to you I certainly will I do think you guys will certainly enjoy this as a great popcorn flick and I will say the mid credit scene in here um, blow me away the mid credit scene is almost worth the price of admission alone uh, but there's definitely more in this Marvel movie so certainly enjoy and one that I actually might try and check out again later on this week so while this is a non-spoiler review I do believe me and Indy will be giving you guys our spoiler review this upcoming Tuesday we may even go live with that so certainly stay tuned to this channel for any updates if I had to give you guys my grade for this film give me a B minus um, if any if anything a B minus probably fits in the 80 to 83 percent uh, percentile um, so definitely passable and an enjoyable film and one that I certainly would go ahead and see again but uh, again that's just simply my A plus opinions at the end of the day I want to know yours what did you guys think of the Marvels yay nay would you recommend it I definitely want to know your thoughts down below and again we'll get further into detail at a later date for our spoiler review but until then do me a big favor as always guys take care of yourselves take care of each other and keep it a plus i'll talk to you guys later bye